Hey, what's up guys? It's Bjorn from Triassic Park Triops and I got a new video for you guys. It's gonna be all about the new species that I'm trying to hatch in this nursery tank. Um, I'm trying to hatch some Triops Mauritanicus, which is a female male version of Triops. Uh, it's my first time that I'm actually breeding a non-hermaphrodite uh, species. As you can see, I set up another hatchery, just like usual, with some rainwater which is boiled first. I add some detritus, which is uh, leaf litter that is that basically has been cured with old aquarium water. And I also added a little piece of Elodia oxygen plant to make sure there is a little bit more extra oxygen. And of course, um, there are also some uh, bacteria and algae on this little plant piece and um, Basically, the triops normally will eat from it. As you can see, I already have some hatchlings. Really happy about them. Because, um, yeah, it's a new species. So I was really um, scared that maybe they would not hatch or something. But they are actually doing great. Um, they are two days old right now. So let's see what the future has in store for us. Oh, there are actually some active ones. There is another one. Yay! So, um, like I said, hatching tank has been fixed up again. I'm trying to make to breed a new species. So, um, yeah, it will be released in the future as a Triassic Park Triops uh, kit as well. Then you can buy the Triops Mauritanicus from Triassic Park Triops as well. And um, I also have some other cool news. And I bought some Otto Sinkless fishies. Which, is, which are crazy little algae eaters. I really like them. And as you can see, they are actually already uh, eating the algae from the leaves of my plants. Um, there's, there are plenty of plants, so I guess they should be fine inside this tank. There are only six of them. And I named one Cat Von O, like Cat Von D, but I just called them Cat. I called that, that specific, particular particular fishy uh, cat von O um, because it's a catfish and uh, they are called Otto Sinkless so I thought it was a good name for them as well <laughs> a good name for one of them I'm sorry guys I sometimes get lost in translation I'm sorry but I truly like them uh, people told me they are pretty hard to keep uh, I actually do believe that but uh, like with triops, I figured everything out by myself. So I guess I might be able to figure these little fishies out as well by doing some research on them and uh, as well noting a little bit of stuff down in a, possibly a new journal. Um, let's call it Triassic Park Otto Sinkless. <laughs> But I basically just took them uh, because they have, uh, I have heard about them, that they are uh, really uh, efficient at eating uh, some sorts of algae from your plants. And honestly, I truly like how they look. Basically, they look like little tiny, tiny little sharkies. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just really like them. Beautiful little, little fishies. And they are actually pretty friendly as well. And um, I found out that they can be mixed with traps by just adding them. And uh, they actually don't harass each other. Um, sometimes they bump into each other, but usually it just uh, triggers a scared reaction on both sides. Which makes them flee to each their, other, each their own side. So it's definitely not a problem to keep them with traps, I guess. Um, I need to see if they, uh, when they are growing and when they get a little bit bigger, if they are still that friendly. But from what I've heard, they should be good companions with the triops. So we're going to find out in the, um, the next few months if Otto Sinkless Affinis uh, are good companions for triops. And you might be able to uh, try them for yourself as well. I can definitely not recommend to uh, keep these little fishies uh, inside a triops hatchery, but make sure that you have a proper size aquarium for your triops and for your Otto Sinkless to uh, live in together as well. So that's it, guys. So we got the Mauritanicus new hatching set up and we got some new fishies in the Triassic Park. I'm really happy with the new tank, of, uh, with the new fishies in the tank. And. Um, I'm going to keep you guys up to date. I'm going to try to breed some Otto Sinkless as well. And um, I really hope I'm going to be successful because people told me they are pretty hard to um, to breed as well, to propagate. 
as fishies. But the look on these fishes are is ex absolutely stunning. They have like uh, little hairs on top of their uh, back and their head. Beautiful little creatures. And they keep my abusive Philandra plants clean as well. So a really welcome guest. And as you can see, they really don't bother each other. Triops and Autosynchly, I guess, are pretty... Well, let's say they are pretty good companions to each other, I guess. I'm not sure if the Triops are actually that aggressive or will get aggressive towards the Autosynclus, but I don't think so. Um, these uh, albino uh, Cancriformis Triops are basically really friendly herbivore Triops, possibly, because I never had seen them um, attacking on um, any uh, for, like live food or defrosted food. They rather uh, eat plants, and that's fine. Really, don't matter. That doesn't matter. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna keep you guys updated, like I said, and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.